It's Red Eye Radio. Gary McNamara and Eric Harley talk about everything from politics to social issues and news of the day. Whether you're up late or you're just starting your day, welcome to the show from the Uniden America Studios. This is Red Eye Radio. All across America and around the planet, we are Red Eye Radio. He is Eric Harley and I'm Gary McNamara. Good morning. Welcome. You know, sometimes it's very rare yeah. that I can have really zero information, mm-hmm. but still from a point of total ignorance, because I have not seen the president's budget yet, mm. I can look at something and say, that's a lie. And I just happen to go to the first page of, this is uh, uh, Axios, uh, Biden's budget shows the limits of taxing rich Americans that you can't. You can tax rich Americans and it won't get it done. Access, right. as yeah, we know, yeah. is liberal. Yeah. The first sentence, President Biden's budget contains $3 trillion in deficit reduction. <laughs> Why didn't they go with four? Uh, I have no idea. Five. They should have gone. I don't know. Go I, big. Come on. Three? Three? <laughs> Why? No, no, no. Biden's uh, budget will pay off the national debt in one year. I mean... There you go. I fixed it for you. You're welcome. What th- three trillion in deficit reduction over three trillion years? I mean, I do. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. I don't see a time frame here. That's what's, and people are doing the math. Ah, oh, I probably won't be around in three trillion years. Huh? I mean, my my God, when you when <laughs> when when you saw how much when you saw that he wants to uh, uh, in, increase the, uh, the 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 budget to seven point three trillion, yeah. up one point one trillion, up eighteen percent. In just two years, <laughs> and at the same time, magically, we are because off the air. I was saying, what what are, what are they talking about that it contains three trillion in deficit reductions? That's impossible. And Eric looks at me and says, "Magic, magic, magic." Bling, bling. We'll just magically make it happen. Oh. Or just say it's going to happen. Bling. The the U.S. The, and it's Axios. So why it matters? Remember, <laughs> this is a liberal organization. Uh-huh. The U.S. is facing a large deficit. The largest deficit is a share of account of the economy. Even if the Biden administration were to secure all the tax increases on billionaires and large corporations, it seeks. Uh-huh. And we've already talked about the corporate tax yeah. uh, and shrinkflation and corporate greed. And we've stated, I mean, it's this isn't a debate we've had, you know, for the first time today or no. an argument that we've had or a position that we have. Let me put it that way. Right. Because uh, really, I don't know how you argue the point, but uh, using greed and we went through the go the. <laughs> Go early when our podcast comes out. Listens to our podcast. There you go. But I would be hours uh, three and four. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. we as we actually go through what greed is. Mm-hmm. You know what is greed? Is greed any business, large or small, that says, "Okay, we've produced this widget, or we have this service. Would you like to buy it?" Mm. And the person comes up and says, mm, "Okay, what's this about? Give me more information." And then they analyze it, and they say, and the cost is? Well, in some cases, they could negotiate a better price. Yep. In some cases, no, that's the price. Fine. I'm going elsewhere. Yeah. I guess I don't need this widget. Well, now the company becomes successful. People love the widget. They sell millions of widgets. It's the best widget. It's it's got, it's bedazzled. Have you seen the new, uh, I forget the name of the brand, but they're the insulated mug. And it's in, in like they've everybody's got to have one. And I think it's women it, buying the mug. I forget the brand name, but I think it's women. Well, it could be guys, but it's bedazzled on the outside in, in some cases. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this is is this the one that they sell on TV that you saw for the last year that I've just noticed has, has disappeared lately, which is. Because of supply chains, 
This product is being discontinued. It's so great that it's being discontinued. So you are limited to buying uh, 950,000 of these cups at one time. (laughs) Right. That's the one I love. Every product that was like, wow, this is really neat. Uh, The Stanley. The Stanley mug. The Stanley, yes. The Stanley mug. Yeah, Yeah, the Stanley. Bedazzled. (laughs) No, it's bedazzled. Have you seen the ones that are bedazzled? No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if someone's doing that, like, after the fact, or they're just buying them and then doing that, you know, or they're if they come that way or not. I, but it's, the, it's, you know, it's the new thing. We've had insulated mugs for how long? Seems like since the 1300s. Long time. I, yeah. rem- I remember when we called them thermoses. Yeah, remember that? That's how old I am. Right. But all of a sudden, now you got to have this one. Why? Keeps cold things cold, keeps hot things hot. And everybody else has this one. I am so old, not only do I remember the thermoses, but I remember when a young Elvis Presley Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in his young 30s Mm -hmm. was considered old when he went to Vegas. (laughs) Right. All right. I don't know why I thought Elvis. It just popped into my mind. I yeah. Know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the uh, it, it it doesn't matter, but we, we, we made the whole point. It doesn't matter. This budget isn't going anywhere to begin with. We're not going to spend a lot of time. We didn't spend a lot of time talking about it because it's never going to happen. Uh, no. But but we have stated, you know, greed. What's greed? Is greed if a company does that and then wishes to sell a million more widgets? Is that greed? Well, I'm looking at the price of these it, mugs, and, 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 and they're – a lot more than what I paid for mine. Wow! And I'm I'm thinking, well, what does it do? Does it play music? Does it have a Bluetooth yeah. speaker built in? You know, I but but people go, no, no, it's just the, it's the thing. What so thing? They, you right. know, the thing. And boom. Well, was was the guy who invented the the pet rock greedy? No, because people wanted to buy the genius stupid, the stupid pet rock. Yeah, and I'll, so I'll clean some rocks up you, and you, I'll put them in look a box. B- b- both of those things, and if the company lies to you about the product, they will be held liable by the courts of America. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, so what's worse, corporate greed or political greed? Let's look at Joe Biden. Joe Biden is telling people that the rich corporations are greedy. Yeah. And therefore, since the rich corporations are are greedy. He doesn't define how they are greedy, except mm. to say mm-hmm. that shrinkflation, where you get less for the same price, is based on greed and not the inflation that his administration put over the top to why we have it now. What? So his administration asked the Obama economist, look and say, you should have never spent that $1.9 trillion. That puts you over the top. Yep. You're now going to see inflation And that's what we have seen. They were warned about it. They did it. Joe Biden came up with the great idea. Now, let's talk about selfishness. Joe Biden came up with the great idea that let's separate inflation from shrinkflation. Mm -hmm. We just won't mention inflation. We'll just say shrinkflation. We'll pull out, you know, and have some Fritos and potato chips and Snickers bars Mm -hmm. or whatever. And we will say that they're doing this because of corporate greed instead of inflation which was caused by his administration yeah all right so then he says to stop this greed i uh will tax these corporations so that they feel the punishment for their greed Mm -hmm. when in reality if those corporations are greedy or if they're not greedy depending on your definition of greed which we again it's definitely intense and selfish intentions. Yeah. But if but if you're passing the cost on that you get from anywhere, and we know that happens, gasoline is the clearest evidence of that for most people in their uh, daily lives. So he says, okay, we're going to punish these corporations by taxing them when in reality you will end up paying that tax. You will be punished. And he's doing it all so you will vote for him yep. so he's lying to you about what's going on in corporations right now and then he's saying he's going to punish the corporations but that's also a lie because he's not punishing the corporations they will pass that on 
to the consumer, which is you. And who does it hurt the most? The poor and the middle class. You want greed? President Biden is greedy because he's doing this because he wishes to stay in power. Tell us where we're wrong. Pretty simple. Pretty simple equation. Pretty simple equation. And yet we, in our mind, just want to build out our own little narrative to believe or just, you know, why even create one? Let them give it to us and we can go, oh, yeah, 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 you know, they're right. Is It still baffles me how many people <laughs> just repeat talking points. I know. Yeah. And it's something that's like, and you and I are, have been doing this for a long time. So we know, you know, we hear these key phrases and words. And people are going, oh, yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Shrinkflation. Yeah. Ooh. Shrinkflation. Well, yeah. What does that mean? Stop. If if someone does that in your life, stop them and just ask them, hey, what what does that mean? Well, you know. And then. Where does that come from? And get into the breaking down of it. Well, the best slogan ever that they that they had success with mm. was, you know, the whole trickle down economics doesn't oh, work. Oh yeah. And then their yeah. explanation. Yeah, yeah. This was the explanation. Mm. We don't believe in trickle down economics. We believe in economics that goes from the bottom up. Yeah. Well, could you please explain that? Yeah. What does that mean in real? Nobody ever asked them to explain that in reality terms. What does that mean? Fine. Well, trickle-down doesn't work. The bottom-up does, which means... Which means what? How does it go from the bottom up? Right. All right. And then it's like, well, you tax all the rich, give it to the poor, and then they spend the money, and then the rich get it back. (laughs) Yeah, there's never an equation... Where it goes the other way around. It's like, well, see, if we just did it this way, it would go this way. We we want an economy that's not from the top down. We want it from the bottom up and the middle uh, then to go out like a surround sound bow speaker. And some of it trickles up and some of it actually does trickle down. But trickle down is OK as long as you have the trickle up because the economics is like a bow surround sound speaker. Yeah. Exactly. See? I mean, it's – and and Biden did that the other day. He's been doing it for years. Not from the top down, the bottom up, but the middle out, bottoms up. Can't believe it's butter. Bottoms up. I thought they were drinking beer. <laughs> and that's the other thing, too. We put the absolute most clueless people on the planet. Yeah. In high office. Absolutely yeah. Yeah. clueless. Yeah. With the best example being Biden and Harris. Absolutely clueless on all the issues. You know what's really interesting is is uh we're gonna have to I put something together here in the, the audio that they're getting everything. We played a couple of audio cuts, mm. but everything that Biden believes now, he believed the opposite twenty years ago. And, and, and oh my god. All gosh, the audio's yeah. out there. It's like well, how come Democrats believe 180 degrees? To, and it's not just him. It's coming out from everybody now, from Pelosi, from mm-hmm. Schumer, whatever. It's like, here's what they believed 20 years ago. Here's what they believe now. Mm-hmm. Were they lying then? Were they lying now? Right. And the border so stuff easy. is, oh, the border stuff. Oh, yeah, the, I, I got to find. Um, well, if I can't find it today, I'll find it tomorrow. I've, I've got it. I've stored a bunch of stuff from uh, yesterday. It just, it, there was so much. But it's where Biden said, and they need to speak English. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. Ouch. Yes. Yes. Oh, and then I love the whole thing with, well, he didn't apologize. Mm. He didn't mm. apologize for saying illegal. Yeah. And and I'm like, well, where are they going with this now? He didn't apologize. He said he shouldn't have used the word. And it's like what I realized is they they were, the left was going, oh, Biden was apologizing to the illegal immigrant for calling him an illegal immigrant, that he wasn't apologizing 
to him. He was apologizing to everybody. It really doesn't make any sense. Right. He was right. apologizing to everybody else. I mean, it was a horrible, horrible. When he had to back off again, I'm like, this isn't good. Yeah, yeah. they should really move on. They're, <laughs> they should stop talking. They're, <laughs> they're illegal. I shouldn't have used that word. I didn't apologize. <laughs> what I meant to say is they should speak English. And, and <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh. It's but, but you can't. This is the problem. That's who Joe Biden always has been. You know, the agendas making him. Oh, well, well, I, I wasn't supposed to. I got in trouble for saying that word. I, I'm oh. not supposed to use that word anymore. I'm supposed to use other words. Oh, he and, was. And, I don't know where he was horrible. yesterday, but he was with. The, it was a bunch of elderly people. Mm. And he turned around. Am I supposed to take questions? And they ended up not letting him take questions. Yeah, right. And it yeah. was bad because it was no, all it, it was horrible. all elderly people, and he's right. like spinning around to the other side, asking somebody if he's supposed to take questions. Right. They should have, after that State of the Union, put him in a basement and yep. had artificial intelligence. Yep. <laughs> a Biden artificial intelligence spring break emoji. Put him on. Put him on spring break. He should have disappeared yep. unless they needed him by October. Yeah. It is it's just, horrible. It's just it horrible. is just horrible. The optics are bad. 86690 Red Eye. This morning's USDA Farm Report is brought to you by Howes Products. Tested, trusted, guaranteed since 1920. We now have the complete ag trade numbers for the first four months of this 2024 fiscal year, October through January, and it's a mixed bag. First on the downside, U.S. ag exports totaling $63 billion. Down 9% from the same time in fiscal year 23. USDA economist Bart Kenner says month by month, ag export values have been dipping further and further below year-ago levels. In October, 6% below. November and December, 7%. And January year-to-date is down 9%. So not going in the right direction. But for some products, Kenner says prospects are improving. Corn, for example, corn export values have been running 30% or so below year-ago levels within this new report. Corn exports were $3.8 billion, no percentage change from the previous year. So corn export values are holding their own, plus the volume of corn exports are up 35%. So a definite improvement for corn in this report. Gary Crawford for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This report brought to you by Cenex Fuels and Lubes. Get in touch with Red Eye Radio, toll free at 866-90-RED-EYE. It's Friday Radio. He's Eric Carlin. I'm Gary McNamara. I found the audio cut. All right. Where uh, Biden, I think this goes back, it's got to be the mid-90s, talks about the fact that the Democrats' position, his position is that uh, if you want to become a citizen, you need to speak English. Whoa. Whoa. And more. Here we go. Can you scare an employer in this country, whether he's an agricultural worker or a housewife, into not hiring an illegal because the punishment's so high that if you get caught, yes. it's a huge embarrassment to your family, and you may just hit a, get hit with a fine that'll kill you. Yeah, absolutely, you, you can. can do that. And that's what we should do. Well, I think we should do that. Because other, you can't catch you everybody. Can't. No, 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 you, you, you can't. And the last part of this is that the Democratic position also recognizes you got 11 million alien, uh, illegal aliens here. They have to have a way to earn their way into the deal. This is an amnesty. They're required to take 11 years' worth. They pay a fine. They got to learn to speak English. They got to pass um, I like testers. The English part. Yeah, I like the well, English part. By the I way, think we, if we want the problems of Canada right now, let's keep encouraging people to keep their foreign language. English is going to unite this country potentially. Let me it always, always has right. in the past. I can't think wow, of the country. man! I, I, I. Wow, Joe Biden. I know. And Chris, Chris Matthews. Matthews.
You're listening to Red Eye Radio from the Uniden America Studios. It's Red Eye Radio. He is Eric Carly, and I'm Gary McNamara. Yeah, really incredible to hear that uh, from uh, from Joe Biden. But I'm going to play it again because it's really interesting. Mm. Uh and this, and it's interesting because you've got Chris Matthews in there. Yeah. That at the time, okay, this goes back, this goes back, I thought it was uh, the mid 90s. This is 2006. Wow. All right. But the thing I, I told you afterwards, I said, when you hear how Biden's talking right now, you see how his cognitive abilities have really degraded mm-hmm. since that time mm-hmm. when you hear him talking here. But the fact of, my God, when you have Chris Matthews is saying, you know, when he said, you know, and and th- this was the, you know, this was back then when they were saying, it's not amnesty. They have to earn their way in, pay a fine, learn to speak English. And then Chris Matthews, could you imagine if anybody on the left said that today? Because then Chris Matthews uh, uh, came in and, uh, and said that, uh, uh, you know, uh, speaking the same language is, is what unites the country. We can't be like Canada. Could you imagine? He would be off of MSNBC. Oh, yeah. He would have been off just for that oh, one. Oh, You'd yeah, gone. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. But I just want to play it just so you can see. And this is where you really can see the cognitive abilities when you see a Joe Biden from 2006 mm-hmm. and compare him to now. But we're going to play it again just to show you how much the position of Democrats have changed in just a few short years. You scare an employer in this country, whether he's an agricultural worker or a housewife, into not hiring an illegal because the punishment's so high that if you get caught, yes. it's a huge embarrassment to your family, and you may just hit a, get hit with a fine that'll kill you. Yeah, absolutely, you, you can. can do that. And that's what we should do. Well, I think we should do that. Because other, you can't catch you everybody. Can't. No, 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 you, you, you can't. And the last part of this is that the Democratic position also recognized you got 11 million alien, uh, illegal aliens here. They have to have a way to earn their way into the deal. This is an amnesty. They're required to take 11 years' worth. They pay a fine. They got to learn to speak English. They got to pass um, like testers. Part. Yeah. I like the well, English part. By the I way, think we, if we want the problems of Canada right now, let's keep encouraging people to keep their foreign language. English is going to unite this country potentially. It always has in the past. I can't think of a country that has two languages as their accepted languages that is doing all that well, including Switzerland and or right. uh, Canada. And it, Whoa. It's, what you just heard is, yeah, and, and another thing, speak English. Wait a minute. Uh, it all depends what happens in November. Do we have our second audio cut of the year that came from 2006 but applies now? I think it's going to be close. We 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 just might we just might have a tie. Wow. Yeah. And and then you want to go to Biden in two thousand five? All right. On Social Security because yeah. yesterday as as uh, uh in case you don't know it, uh Trump was on C N B C and they were asking quite pointed questions, as Kernan does, and as we said, look, we all know Social Security and Medic care can't stay the same way right. something has to be done right cuts whatever and he trump did not say i would cut he would say yeah cuts would be something you have to look at whatever and and uh and and other things you know the the normal all right we've got to do something about it but i'm not going to be specific right right which is uh probably for conservatives a better answer than he was giving before mm. which was we will not touch it at all and DeSantis, remember, was going to. Yeah. And we all know that if you know anything about the budget, you got to do something about Social Security and Medicare. Right. It can't stay the same, which means something has to change. Right. Now, the benefits may remain the same, mm. but then somebody's got to fill the tax bill for that. Pay more. Pay more. Uh, you, you get it. You get it later on in life. Mm-hmm. Uh, 62 ends. You know, can't collect at 62 anymore. That might happen. Now, early retirement will be 72. Early retirement will be 93. 93, 98 for full but, retirement. But then the Biden administration or Biden administration, the Biden campaign yesterday came out with this ad. See, Trump says cuts, 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 cuts. We won't change Social Security at all. Let's go back to Biden. This just shows you every major position 
the Democrats have, except maybe for spending, the Democrats have drastically changed yeah. from just a few years ago. Right. They are 180 degrees where they were. Here we go. Raising the cap, raising the retirement age for people who are now 30 years old, raising uh, um, uh, the uh, the tax on Social Security, cutting benefits. Uh, they're all things that have to be discussed, quite frankly. All right. Now, mm. after the uh, huge uh, uh, budget that Joe Biden put out yesterday, mm -hmm. the huge budget, what did Joe Biden say about the budget? Let's go all the way back to 1995. Oh. All right. Here we go. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans. Benefit. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. Oh, really? So I guess I have to take it back. Mm -hmm. I said except spending. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah. But even that. What makes a person, because at that time, I mean, he was a, you know, he was a, you, you know, 50 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was in his younger 50s when he said it. Yeah. Politicians don't change. You don't change your opinion on things. Unless you are greedy. Let's go back to the greed word. Mm. You wish to retain power so you have no more beliefs. The only belief you have is power, well, which, as we know, is a definition of greed, wanting power. So you lie about where the country is. You lie about the border. You lie about the budget. You lie about climate change. You lie about everything because you're greedy and you want political power and the math is not an opinion what's available yeah. to us and what isn't available to us all gets down to the math at hand well then what do you have to do to change that in order to obtain you know that leverage to get that leverage to tell this lie and make it work politically for you you have to change pretty much everything to tell uh, th that narrative you've got to tell the lie it's got to be a lie you have to change the math we can do it without changing anything no you can't yeah you can no you can't and that's the reality of of where we are but when you hear him speaking you realize and I was thinking about it because uh, when I chuckled before when I was talking about Biden turning around, mm. I'm not laughing at Biden. Don't ever misunderstand us. I'm not laughing at Biden. I'm laughing at the absurdity of the people and his family telling America and the media that there's absolutely nothing wrong with him. Yeah. And he's the best that there's ever he's the best Joe Biden that he's ever been especially when you start playing cuts from anywhere from 15, you know, or 10 to 30 years ago, you realize he has a tremendous loss in his cognitive abilities. Right. And that's not a joke. The thing that's funny is the gaslighting from the people around him telling you that he's as vigorous as he's ever been and his mind works Better than anybody. The problem is when I go in and I'm younger, just keeping up with Joe. Mm -hmm. I can't keep up with his thought process and how he processes thoughts and how they go through his mind and the critical thinking. Stop gaslighting us. Yeah, it's, again, it's very clear. The Democrats on the border, and we played that audio cut, but over the years, all you have to do is pay pay attention to history. Well, why now? Why are they changing now? Because the agenda has changed. Because they need to sell something and they can't sell it based on the facts. The facts work against them. In every case. Well, I can't think of one position I have changed since I've become a talk show host. 
No. 35 years ago. Well, and, and and what would change the math? Nothing changes Nothing the math. would change the math. Nothing would change my opinion because my opinion is ba- is my opinion is based on you know, number one what works and what promotes freedom and liberty for the individual. What the f- so and, I, and what the yeah. facts are. Right. So I'm not going to change. The facts never change for nope. me. They don't. And so when you see somebody and look at the number of issues, federal spending, mm. social security, mm-hmm. oh, we haven't even played. <laughs> Crime we haven't even included yeah. in there. Yeah. Crime we haven't. What was the other one? Oh, the border. Mm-hmm. The border. All those major, yep. complete reversal of almost every major issue of where he stood just yep. yeah. 18 you know, 15 to 18 years ago. Right. Everything's reversed. Right. How did that happen? And by the way, the whole that's the same for the Democratic Party. Right. That's where the Democratic Party has changed. If you want to know, those are the actual specifics of where they changed. Yep. Yep. And it's important to get to that. But, yeah, that's the one thing that I, that when I started playing those, I went, oh, my gosh, his cognitive abilities are when you look at Joe Biden. And you and I remember even 2008. Mm-hmm. So Mm -hmm. we're going back just 16 years ago when he was, when he uh, debated Paul Ryan. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2012. 2012. Yeah, Mm -hmm. thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah. 2012. Right. Yeah. All right. So we're just, we're we're only going back uh, a little over 11 11 and a half years. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this coming summer, it'll be 12 years. Yeah. Completely different. Yep. Completely different. Oh, yeah. And it's the decline is is now happening, you know, and this is the way it works. The decline is happening at a higher rate. There's no way around that. There's no way to change that. No way to reverse it. No, there isn't. So then, but I want to make sure people know. I would never laugh at somebody with cognitive problems. I talk to my dad every single day. I talk to my dad, mm-hmm. you know, so uh, you're always on the, my, and my dad turns, so everybody knows my dad turns 98 years old in three weeks. Mm-hmm. Right. And I talk to him every single day. And yes, sometimes he'll forget something. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he'll mix a couple of things up. Happens to all of us. You know, yeah, it does happens you know yep. we we do we do five hours mm-hmm. you know a, a day five hours overnight ad lib some know. people think paul ryan debated biden in 2008 <laughs> <laughs> you know something that was a solid shot <laughs> I had I had no well that was a solid shot directed at me. Well, yeah, but 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 here's the reality. When you've covered so many election cycles, they all start to blend together. They really do. Well, you young same, whippersnapper, I've covered same. I've covered more than you, you young whippersnapper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Respect your elders. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't win on the substance, so I gotta throw some kind of guilt your way. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, working. my my dad he, he forgets things. But his when he starts, you know, when he has it together, he can connect dots like you can't imagine. Sure, yeah, uh, he can do what Joe Biden cannot do. Well, we've seen real cognitive issues. Uh, many of us, millions of us, mm-hmm. we know what it looks like. Millions of families are dealing with it right now, including mine, and. It's not. It's not a funny situation. It's very serious. It is. 86690-RED-EYE. We'll be right back with more Red Eye Radio with Eric Harley and Gary McNamara. It's Red Eye Radio. He's Eric Harley, and I'm Gary McNamara. When are inflation numbers coming out? Later today. We'll see them this morning. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. 
I'm glad I asked. Yeah. Well, I heard you earlier say something about inflation, and so that's what made me. Yeah, February inflation numbers will uh, hit today, and then uh, we'll see where, you know, where it looks, what it looks like for um, for February. And um, should I ask what the experts are predicting, or is that just completely useless? Well, I mean, it's interesting. Like on core CPI year over year, the median forecast is three point seven. And the previous month was 3.9. We'll see where reality hits later today. It's uh, 7.30 uh, Central, 8.30 Eastern. These numbers will hit. Uh, CPI year over year, the median forecast at 3.1. Month over month, the core CPI at 0.3 on the median forecast. It was 0.4 in January. And uh, so we'll, you know, we'll see here in just a few hours. This is Red Eye Radio on Westwood One.